Welcome again, Green Dream Project Jim here. And yes, I am still working on the solar panel mounts. This is my first post I put in. I got another post down over there. And I'm just, I'm just keeping on going. I'm about to put in the third post and just keep my work on my way down. Now my idea here on this is to just create uh, three smaller solar panel mounts. I'm going to try and do six panels per mount with the exception of the last mount which will have just three panels on but it'll have a little extra room for three more should we need to add a little bit more down the line. So it's just taking a little while because digging these pulse holes by hand uh, just takes some time. You know? <laughs> then I get down to the depth, uh, find out uh, you know when you once you put the post in there it's like oh well maybe it needs to come out a little bit uh, but I've actually built the first of the mounting structures right here I'll show you so this right here will be the first frame and I actually threw this together real quick just so that when I was putting up my second post I made sure I had you know enough room for this to fit in between them because had it not you know had I not built it I was actually a little short. It would have been uh, just a little too close by an inch or two and this wouldn't have fit. So I'm glad I kind of took the time to just put this together real quick just to see that, just to make sure that distance was good. And uh, then I'm just going to keep doing that on down the line. So this is hole number three right here. This is where post number three will go. It's already at uh, about a couple feet deep. Keep going, hole another foot just to make sure it's real sturdy. And then, uh, Alright, time to get to work. When it starts to get this deep, it's a little tough. Uh, I was talking about my wingspan there, it's a little tough getting all the way down there. In the last video I talked about how we were mounting that on wood and I kind of said I'd get into exactly why we're doing that. Now I know technically you're not supposed to, but this is going to be a temporary setup for us. We don't know exactly where any of our permanent structures are going to be yet, so I don't really want to set up anything where it would be very difficult. I don't want to make a huge investment and mounts where it's just going to be torn down and are just left there to sit for you know after a year or so so this is really might only be uh, set up for like a year maybe two before we decide where we want our permanent system to be that's why we're going with a wood structure right now <laughs> yeah i don't really recommend this uh if you go to any kind of uh professional solar installer they're going to tell you the same thing wood is not the way to go it's just the way we're going because it's a temporary solution for right now did you have a crazy adventure last night crew you have a crazy adventure last night but then he didn't have his leash on so i didn't know I did grab his girls. Uh. <laughs> you want to tell us more about liver eating Johnson? Um, well, he, after he was, after he faced the crows and ate all their livers. Uh, he was captured by the Blackfoot Indians and then they tied him up in a teepee with leather straps but he busted free and he knocked out the guard and scalped him and cut off his leg and took it into the woods and ate it. That guy sounds like something I'm to mess with. <laughs> it's liver eating Johnson. His family got murdered by the Crow Indians and then they burned down his house with his wife and children inside. Mm -hmm. So he went on a 25 year rampage of revenge. 
and he vowed to kill every crow and and he did. He tracked all the crows that killed his wife and family and he tracked them all down and he ate their liver because the crows believed that you need your liver in order to go to the afterlife. So he just ate all their liver and he was like, there's no afterlife for you. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty hardcore, right? Almost as hardcore as those flies. So as you can see, we've been making a lot of progress on the shed. Just a quick update while I'm working on the solar panel mounts. I put up the roofing on that a while, a little while ago. Just using the corrugated metal sheeting and laying that on top. And it's uh, holding up pretty nice. Been through a couple of, uh, couple of hard storms already. <laughs> Outside's coming along pretty well. And this thing was uncovered during the rain last night and looks like it's held up pretty good. So if you're like me and you're in a position where you might have to dig post holes by hand, uh, one thing that I found particularly useful, especially when going down to a depth where it's difficult to reach with my hand and I need the, uh, the actual post hole digger, is just to pour a little water in there. Let that soak in for a bit. And this is especially true for this dry, tough Arizona soil. Uh, I don't know what it's like digging post holes in other areas, but for this, it's just when you try digging it in, it's tough. It wants to crumble apart very easily. Put in a little water, and then when you go to dig this thing, you can actually pull the soil out instead of having it just fall right through the uh, the little pincers. <laughs> so after I poured the water in and I had a chance to let that soak in, the ground should be pretty right for me to just dig with, uh, with this. And that'll pretty much help me get down the last eight or nine inches I need to get to the three foot level. <laughs> So after I finish up with this last post, that should be it. Then I can put up my racks. I gotta make this short and sweet because clouds are up. I think there's a storm rolling in. It could rain any minute. I gotta watch out. <laughs> but let me show you what it looks like. Sweet, huh? <laughs> It's starting to rain, so I gotta make this short and sweet. Nope, I gotta cut it out now. <laughs> ah!